All right, so today we're going to talk about solving right triangles. We've already been practicing the skills we need to do this. So now we're just applying it to find all the sides and all the angles in a triangle instead of just one at a time. Um, so this only works for right triangles. So we've already talked about how that means it has a right angle, two acute angles, a hypotenuse, and two legs. So solving a right triangle means you find all three side lengths, all three angles. And the minimum amount minimum amount of information you need to know is either two side lengths or one side and one acute angle. Okay? And again, this only works for right triangles. You are finding a side. If you are finding a side, you use the regular sine, cosine, and tangent. If you're finding an angle, you use the inverse. So sine inverse, cosine inverse, or tangent inverse. So the forwards direction is to find a side, the opposite is to find an angle. Okay, for part A, they already gave us AC is 2 and BC is 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and let's say we want to start with angle A. 3 is opposite, 2 is adjacent. So 3 is opposite and 2 is adjacent. So I would use tangent, because that's opposite and adjacent. So tangent of A is 3 over 2. So A is the inverse of that. So 56, round to the nearest tenth. So 56.3 is angle A. Well, and we also know that angle C is 90. So I'm actually just going to, I could do the same thing, but for angle B, but I'm just going to take 90 minus 56.3, so that'll be quicker. So I get 33.7. And then to find AB, I'm just going to go ahead and use Pythagorean theorem. But again, I could use a trig ratio if I wanted, but I think Pythagorean theorem is the better choice because you've been using it longer, you're less likely to make a mistake. But up to you, really. So I got 3.6. All right, another example. This time they gave us the hypotenuse and one of the acute angles. So let's say we want to find H first, or actually, let's fill in what we know. We know that GH is 13. We know that angle H is 25, angle J is 90. And if I take 90 minus 25, I get 65. Okay, so this is what we already know. From here, I'm going to say let's want we want to find H first or side JG. I from angle 25, this is opposite, this is adjacent from this angle. So I'm going to go ahead and use sine, so I can use opposite and hypotenuse, because I know my hypotenuse. So sine of 25 equals h over 13. So h equals 13 times sine of 25. So I'm going to put that in my calculator, and I get 5.5 when it's rounded. Okay. Um, I'm not going to use Pythagorean theorem for this one because of rounding error. Instead, I don't need to erase that. Instead, I'm just going to use cosine to find G because that's adjacent over hypotenuse. So down here, cosine of 25 equals G over 13. So G is 13 times cosine of 25 or 11.8. Okay, moving on. I know that ST is 15, angle R is 57, angle S is 90, which makes angle T 33, because these two have to add to 90. And now I just need to find my other two sides. So from angle 57, 15 is opposite. 
So let's say I want to find the hypotenuse next. I would use sine, so I could use opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 57 equals 15 over my hypotenuse. Okay. When h is in the bottom, I think it's easiest to cross multiply. So you get 15 equals h times sine of 57. So h is 15 divided by sine of 57. So if I take 15 divided by sine of 57, I get 17.9 for RT. Okay, if I want to find RS, I'm going to use tangent because that will give me opposite over adjacent. So tangent of 57 equals 15 over adjacent. And then I can solve that by taking 15 divided by tangent of 57. So that would be 9.7. All right. This last one, D, we know that GH is 14. JG is 16. And that angle H is 90 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and use Pythagorean theorem to find my missing side. So you get 60 equals v squared or 7.7. .7. Okay, now I can find an angle. Let's say we want to use g. This side is adjacent to g. This is the hypotenuse. So I'm going to want to use cosine. Cosine of g equals 14 over 16, which makes g the inverse of cosine of this ratio, 14 over 16. Or 29.0 and when it's rounded. So then 90 minus 29 is 61 degrees. All right, so that's the end of this section of notes. Your assignment is page 15.